Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and also live chat, which is not on the screen because um, I don't have it built yet. And I, I literally went live to talk about the Fate channel that just happened while the video that I made for it, because I was just like, oh, it's just a normal old Fade channel. Probably nothing big. I'll just do a video and pop it live at midnight. Yay. No. It was the most mind-blowing Fade channel of all time. No other Fade channel will ever compare to that one. Ever. I said it. Am I right, Hilda Stands? Hell yeah. Okay. So, uh... We, sorry, we always have to make peace with the Hilda stands. They frighten me, and I respect them. Okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch the trailer now for the banner that just went live, which is New Heroes and Rearmed Leaf, also known as Three Hopes. Where I'm assuming we talked about this a little bit on, on stream before watching this. I'm assuming that Rearmed Leaf is actually taking the place of a demote, and that's why we're getting two free reward copies of Female Shez, uh, who is likely the demote of the banner, but she's not on it because Rearmed Leaf is on the banner, and Rearmed Heroes, they said in the Fate channel, are not on normal banners. So I don't know what that means in terms of when they show up where from now on, but okay. All right. So we're going to watch this. I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of unanswered things that I need to know. So let's find out together. Also, I'm really close to finishing Xenoblade 3, and I did see that Chapter 5, 6 thing that everybody freaked out about, and I died. Okay. Uh, Shez. Yep. So he's a five star. We know this. Damien Haas. What a Chad, am I right? Alright. Alright, so we have a new bulwark. Which is a weird, weird word to say, by the way. Uh, Attack Speed 04. Very premium. Moonbow. Interesting. Uh, Crimson Blades. Grants speed plus 5, inflicts defense res minus 5. Unit attacks twice. At start of combat, the following effects will occur based on unit's HP. If greater than or equal to 20% grants special cooldown charge plus one to unit per attack, only highest value applied does not stack. Okay. And also, if greater than or equal to 40% reduces damage from foe's first attack by during combat by 40%. Wow. All right. Interesting. What, uh... What a curious... What a curious little kit we have here this is weird so we have we have oath which makes sense bulwark which makes sense i i'm assuming he's very speedy and defense oriented so he only gets hit once and we get damage reduction from the first attack during combat so he's like a better sothis i think he's just a better sothis I think that's what he is. Because this is what Sothis is supposed to do. Sothis is supposed to take an enemy hit, be so fast that she can't get doubled, and then fire back with a two-turn special, which is what this does. So Mel Shez is just a better mythic Sothis. <laughs> that's funny. That's actually funny. Full disclosure, I have not finished Three Hopes yet, okay? I'm like, I'm close, as my friend Kevin has told me. I'm near the end, but I needed to finish Xenoblade first. That's funny. I know enough about Three Hopes to realize that that's funny. Okay. <laughs> so now that you have that image in your head, let's continue. I know they're not going to be exactly like Sothis, but like the, the archetype of the unit, so the role of the unit is very similar. That's funny. That's so funny. All right. Uh, favored Vassal. Blue Tome! The art looks really great, by the way. 
I love the shading in it. Hold on. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a chat and pull real quick. Uh are we Monica stands? I'm just for my own curiosity, I'm just asking chat at the moment. Anywho, uh wind genesis. Not surprising, right? Pretty much namesake from three hopes. Uh speed res tempo. So we have the, the newest tempo skill. Which up until this point, I think tempo skills were special locked. Right? I think speed defense was, because I, I think that's on kid Mia. But I can't remember the other one, and I don't know who it's on right now. So that's fine. Uh attack speed ideal for speed res tempo seems great though. I'd put that on. Micaiah. I would put that on Micaiah. I would run a plus speed ascended floret Micaiah with speed res tempo. Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Uh anyway, sorry. <laughs> I got distracted. Anyway, uh win Genesis, that's when we know what glimmer is, we know what tax speed ideal for is. Uh, speed res tempo does tempo three things, but with speed res. Um, accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. At start of turn, if units HP is greater than or equal to 25%, grants attack speed plus six and desperation to unit for one turn. Okay. <laughs> At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than equal to 25%, grants attack speed plus 60 unit during combat and inflicts penalty on foe's speed rest during combat equal to 11. Minus foe's max special cooldown count value times 2. Minimum penalty of 3. If foe does not have a special skill, penalty equals 3. Well, yeah, that makes sense because minimum is 3, obviously. Um... I understand why they why they clarified because someone was going to ask. Eleven minus foes max special cooldown count times two. Inflicts penalty on foes speed restoring combat equal to eleven. Minus foes max special cooldown count value times two. So you want them to have a a a a, a short cooldown, right? So if they had like slaying. And they ran Ruptured Sky, right? That's like a one-turn cooldown, right? So that would be 11 minus 1 times 2. So it would be 11 minus 2, which is equal to 9, which is a bigger penalty. So if they run a larger special, like uh, a non-cooldown Aether, for example, which would be 5, okay, uh... 11 minus 5 times 2 is 11 minus 10, which is equal to 1. And so that's a very small penalty. And that's bad. So it's... Wow. So... So she gets... If she runs a two-turn special, she gets a one-turn special because of her cooldown. Her acceleration and her weapon. Her unit, if her HP is high enough, it's obviously going to be. She's getting a speed and attack boost and desperation. Okay. So she's going to be able to attack twice in a row before anybody can counterattack. She's meant to basically glass cannon something just like her. Something that hits hard, really fast. And has a very small cooldown. That is... There was thought put into that. And I don't say that very often with Fey units. But so far, there's like some thought going into this particular unit. And that's cool. Because I don't think we've had a lot like this before. 
Like a lot of times it's just reiterate like like how Male Shez is basically just a better mythic Sothis, right? We get a lot of that. Uh, but this is I don't know that we've had something like this before, which is kind of cool. At least not not this good. Is that the right way to say it? And then I mean speed rest tempo is perfect for her. Because it, it, it basically guards you, right? With your specials. Um, you're getting attack speed boosts. You're taking... You're, you're debuffing opponent speed and res. Which means you can actually swap this out for something better. Uh, like a Ruptured Sky, maybe? Because that is based on enemy attack. Which... Based on her kit, what she's meant to do, you're likely hitting units that have very high attack. So that makes sense. You can upgrade this unit really easily. You don't have to, but there's little pockets here where you can fill better skills. And that's another issue I have where sometimes I'll just put a unit on and it's like, here it is, out the box, perfection. Which is great. That's great. For people who don't have a wealth of resource for inheritance and stuff like that. That's really nice. But I like to like customize units and stuff. And so it feels lazy if I don't like try and do something with them, like a little something, right? So this is kind of cool. This is cool. She's perfect out the box or you can upgrade. She has a very unique role, which is interesting. This is a W. This is a W, bro. That's really neat. And she's a blue tome infantry. What's not to love, am I right? Hubert probably has other ideas, but that's... Yeah. Just as discussed, there it is. There it is. A new Ascended Hero. Who is, who is really just a Hilda ult. <laughs> Anything can be Ascended! Even if it's a hero from a different... Uh, title. It's funny. Anything can be... Anything can be ascended now. We love that. Ooh, velocity. That sounds fun. What does that do? Fuming Freukugel. Fun. Uh, joint drive speed. I'm sorry, my German friends who had to hear me trying to pronounce that. Uh, Luna. Attack speed so low. Interesting. Okay, probably a nod to her, her normal Hilda self. Uh, velocity 3. If unit speed is greater than foe's speed, reduces damage from attacks during combat and from AoE specials, excluding Rooker area of effect specials, by percentage equal to the difference between stats times 4. Uh, max of 40%. So... 10... 10, 10, 10 point difference, basically, uh, is what you're looking for. So, uh, you could probably just run uh, the Phantom Speed Seal, which, you know, I always advocate for the Phantom Seals because I think they're not utilized enough. Uh, and you'd be good to go, which is Poggers. Uh, neutralized effects that inflict special school, don't charge minus X on you. There's a lot of that going around. There's a lot of that going around on this banner. Interesting. Uh, fuming. Accelerate, uh, accelerate special trigger at start of combat for allies within two spaces of unit if the ally has defense greater than unit's defense or if unit has not entered combat during the current phase. Okay. Grants uh, plus three to all and reduces damage from foes first attack by 20% to those allies during combat. As start of units combat, if unit is not within two spaces of any allies during with defense greater than the unit's defense, or if unit is not adjacent to an ally, which informs the solo. Grants attack speed plus six to unit during combat that reduces damage from foes first attack by 40% during combat. And deals damage equal to X percent of units speed 
when special triggers. I don't even know where to start with all that. There was, uh, there's a lot to break down there. Um, for the sake of the video length, because we're already at 15 minutes, I, I will say that you just, you care about her defense. Or, uh, sorry, you care about her speed. Speed is very important. Okay, I'm sorry, I spent way too much time talking about Monica. <laughs> Monica, just Monica. Um, reference, anybody? No? Okay. Uh, speed is important to Hilda. That is, that is what you want. Um, allies within two spaces of unit, if the ally has defense greater than unit's defense. So you don't want her defense to be higher, basically. Which I don't think is going to be an issue. Okay? Um, she's pretty much attack speed oriented. You want to have beefy units with her. Perhaps save units. Okay? Save units, very good for her. Not at all surprising to have that with her. Uh, it, it is... Think of it, okay? Think of it as Hilda's personality. Okay? She always wants someone else to do the work. Right? That's her vibe. Okay, so for Hilda, you want her to be very fast and then be next to stuff with high defense. So, there you go. I would say save, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of, like, you know, velocity and stuff. Like, you don't need damage reduction if you're just getting far saved anyway. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, I, I digress. I digress. Uh, we're going to move on. Joint our speed seems fine. Uh, perhaps a little old, but still, still workable. Still workable. Certainly, certainly. Uh, can't go wrong with a joint drive. That's what they always say. All right. So maybe you just want like a uh, 80 near save for her. Cause she seemed to handle a mana key attack that was red pretty easily. So her res must be pretty, pretty high. You guys remember the music from book three? I know. Hi Liv. Everyone loves you now. Cause you give us free inheritance. Yee! Oh my god, that means you can get attack defense clash foe free. I mean free. Right. Free. Not really free, but it is free. Uh free. Anywho, uh Arcane Ellen Dinger. I forgot what it was called already. So sorry about that. Uh open the future. Great, we know this. Um, we're familiar. Back defense menace. Deadly balance is back. Better than ever. Uh, attack defense clash, which is just clash. In a fancy new attack defense format. Um. Arcane. Accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. At start of combat, if units HP is greater than or equal to 25%, common thread this banner, it seems, uh, inflicts attack defense minus 6 on foe during combat. Unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, foe cannot make a follow-up attack, and inflicts special cooldown charge minus 1 on foe per attack. Good. That's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. Um. Wow. Okay. 
This is pretty good. I'm gonna keep it a stack. You get a slaying, uh, a debuff of attack defense minus six, meeting HP conditions, of course. You get a guaranteed follow up attack. Foe cannot make a follow up attack. And you hit him with a cooldown of minus one per attack. So at least two. And then you couple that with Deadly Balance, which gives you a charge of plus one uh, per foe's attack, right? So you're at two for Open the Future. You attack. That's one. They attack. You know, or you can just get attacked the first time and then immediate retaliate with open the future. Guys, this might be a really good banner. I think this is a really good banner, bro. This is a really good banner. I mean, obviously, there's not a four star, right? So you already have the opportunity to have less uh less weakness involved with that okay um bro you have an ascended hero on the banner you have this dude i hope you all have orbs left okay i don't make banner recommendations frequently i think you can probably just go ham on like two or three banners a year and be fine uh, kids fallen brave right i it, summoning on those is never like a bad idea because that stuff's always like meta defining and stuff uh and they're usually pretty popular as well this is a bit of a game changer like straight up this is a bit of a game changer just keeping it a stack Can we, why is Faye taking so many W's today? What, what, what is happening? What's happening? What's happening here? Why is Fire Emblem taking so many dubs this week? I'm so confused. I am so confused. Aren't we supposed to hate Fire Emblem? Isn't that like the defining characteristic of a Fire Emblem fan that they have to hate the franchise? What is happening here? I am so baffled. Not that I ever really say anything bad anyway, but like, it's really easy to like Fire Emblem this week. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I'm confused. Oh my God, Bruno, You're piercing my soul with your eyes. Uh, that can't be good. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. Uh, we are going to get two. Well, I'll just, I'll let it play. But notice there's no four star to note. Um, so it would be Lady Shez, who is our reward unit. We're getting two of those, getting the rewards uh, for them. Ascended Florette, sure. Still getting some stuff. Uh, the Fae channel did say that we had two. Oh, they have a whole new thing now. They have a whole new thing now. Bro, that's wild. That's so wild. That you know, you know they did this because they were like, man, Alfonso's sword does kind of suck, though. It do be kind. Of, it is a little bad. We should give him a better option. That's what this is. This is just this is this is the culmination of fixing Alphonse. That's all this is. But I am here for it. This is good stuff. Uh, so you will be able to spark twice. So if you're planning on doing 80 summons, uh, you will be able to get two heroes, one of which is definitely uh, the, the new rearmed one. Uh, I would highly 
I would highly recommend getting these two. Okay. Honestly, they're all really good. I can't, I can't recommend. Obviously, you want to get leaf. Like, you want, you want that guaranteed skill inheritance. Okay. The sword is bonkers as it is. Um, Ascended Hilda has the floret. Her kit is like maybe a little less interesting. I think Monica is very unique. Um, she if if there wasn't fancier stuff going on in like the bottom right side of the screen right now with like rearms and ascendants, I she kind of won. I'm kind of a Monica fan right now. Um, and then you have Shez who basically just dunked on Sothis, which is hilarious. So, uh, the, yeah, there's, there's that. <laughs> there's that. It's a good banner, though. Straight up. It's a good banner. It didn't get hit with a bunch of lords, which I think is really... It was a smart choice. It was a really smart choice. You're getting two free copies of a five-star uh, reward of uh, female Shez. Um, dude, this is such a dub. I'm so... I'm so confused. I have I've just been saying good things about Fire Emblem for like a long time now for like days. And I'm waiting for somebody to come in and just like smack me around a little bit and be like, yeah, no, it sucks. No, no, you'd be proud as a Fire Emblem fan. It's a good time to be a Fire Emblem fan. I don't know how many times I can actually say that with a straight face, but right now it was one of those times and I'm very confused <laughs> but it's good it's good it's good i'm pretty sure that yeah 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 see they they know they know they took leaf yeah they're not shit they know what they're doing all right i'm gonna end this video here okay but as per chat's request okay a legally binding contract that they gave to me verbally they have to hang out with me while this renders, and we can talk some more, okay? But for you, Vodfrog, uh, now is the time where I say goodbye to you and only you. Not chat! You're not allowed to leave chat. We have a legally binding contract. You have to stay here <laughs> for, like, a little bit longer. Uh, so that's it for this video in particular. Let me know in the comments who you're summoning for. I think there's no really bad option here, just better choices overall but it depends on your account and all those things just get who you want man yeah you want play the game for fun otherwise what's the what even is the point am i right i'm right okay anyway thanks for watching uh like comment subscribe all that stuff the annoying things susan asked me personally she actually called me i was like yo kcb can you like plug your subs a little bit more because like gotta get them numbers up bro and i'm like oh, susan youtube fine Stop telling me to run ads on my live streams, though. It's kind of cringe. She's like, ah, bruh, I got you, but, like, Google's expensive. It's like, shh, bad. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching. Until then, I'll catch you next time.